Okay, today's exercise is to use the CMMP ASM3 controller from Festo and use it to control records via I.O. mode. So the controller has digital I.O. that you assigned and you use those inputs to assign for various tasks. So the goal today is to be able to teach the positions in the record table, okay? The traditional way of doing this is you put a number in here, you download it, you store it, and it's now in the controller. Now you want the user to be able to dynamically change those. Maybe they want to reteach positions the concept is that you use the digital I.O., which uh, in this version here, we've got two inputs assigned. Teach position is DIN, DIN 3 and save position is DIN 13. We're going to use those inputs to teach a record table. Okay, so right now we've got the controller. You'll see here that we're at... Um, the power stage on by cycling the DIN 4 and 5. Need to home the axis. Axis has been homed. Execute record number 2, which is this record right here. We've told it to go to position 50 and it's now there. I can tell it to execute record number 1. You'll see there that the Position one was executed, we're at position zero. So now, if you want to teach a record, the idea here is that you select the record you want to teach. This is done using the position selector. And right now we've got three DINs assigned. So if I want to teach record two, that's binary select, so that's two. And I'm going to uh, tell it to teach at DIN 3 when I'm in the correct position. So I'm going to disable the axis in this case. I could jog it, but I'm going to disable the axis so the power stage is off. And I'm going to move the axis to... The actual position of 71 and when i turn din 3 on and 3 is on right here turn it off and i turn din 13 on and then off that was over here the record should be permanently stored in the record table now so if i come over to here do an upload that should be replaced by this right here so i'm going to do an upload see that that's there. Turn the axis back on. Power stage is active. I'm now going to start the move. Tell it to go to position 0. And now I'm going to tell it to go to position 2, which is the new target, which is 7102, which is the one you've taught. And that's as simple as it gets. The other thing worth mentioning is the fact that the save position when you do the teach position initially, it's it's changing the volatile memory. Um, if you were to cycle power to the controller, the old position value would be there. If you execute the save position, it's moving that volatile memory, the save data, to the double E prom so that upon cycle of power, those teach positions have been saved permanently and stored.